If you're wanting to have a brighter or more feminine sounding voice, let me help you avoid this one common mistake that a lot of people make, and it has to do with spreading the lips too much. So when we spread the lips, like when smiling, what happens is it creates less space in the vocal tract, which causes the sound to be brighter. You can hear this by smiling and saying the numbers 81, 82, 83. 81, 82, 83. Now I want you to pucker and do the same thing and listen to how the sound changes. 81, 82, 83. So here's the thing though, we don't want to have our lips spread all the time in a smile because what if you needed to say something like, I had a really hard day today, wouldn't be very natural. So what I want to help you do is learn to create this like brighter, more feminine sounding resonance, but without the need to spread your lips like this because that might look a little crazy. So what we're gonna do is take the vowel sound A, that's an 80, and we're gonna start with a big sound and then get smaller, and we're gonna put our hands on our lips to make sure our lips aren't moving. So first I'm gonna do it with my lips going into that smile posture so you can see what not to do. And then we're gonna do it again with our hands on our lips here to make sure our lips don't move. So the pitch that I'm gonna be demonstrating this at is F3 or 175 Hertz. But if you wanna select another pitch that's in your range, go for it. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna say the sound A like this. Uh... Notice my jaw is dropped and the sound is kind of hollow. Uh, now we're gonna get smaller by going uh, A, A, A. And notice that I'm, my pitch isn't changing at all, I'm just changing how bright the sound gets. Uh, a, 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 A. But I've ended up in the smile here. A. And so what we want to do is get out of that smile-like posture, but keep the sound bright still. So what are we going to do? We're going to, um, after you practice with me, I want you to use a mirror. And uh, so you can look at yourself doing this exercise to make sure your lips don't get super spread. So we're going to hit our target pitch, put our hands uh, near our lips, and do that vowel gradient on that A sound again. A, 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 A. Once you can find that A, A, then you can start counting the numbers one, two, three. A, 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 one, two, three. Versus. A, 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 one, two, three. So let's try it one more time. Let's uh, start with the hollow resonance and then get bright, making sure the lips don't spread too much. They can slightly spread, but not a lot. Uh, a, 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 one, two, three, hello. So once you find that bright spot with that A sound, then you can start saying words like hello, one, two, three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So I hope you found this tip helpful. For more information, you can visit my website, jordanrosscommunication.com. Uh, and this month I am actually coming out with a online guided voice feminization course, which will uh, guide you through the process of finding a voice that feels authentic and affirming for your unique goals. It covers how to do your own acoustic assessment, pitch exercises, uh, resonance exercises, relaxation stretches, and a bunch of other really cool things. I also have examples of one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients, so you can see what a gender-affirming voice coaching session looks like if you've never um, experienced it before. So uh, you can find more about that on my website, jordanrosscommunication.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.